Hi reception, so what we're going to be doing today with our babies is really focusing on how they're feeling throughout the story, what happens to make them feel that way, how it changes throughout the story. So we'll have a little quick look at it together and then we're going to talk about some questions that we'll think about and then I'll show you the little task, the writing task that you're going to do with that. So, our, our babies at the start, we... We get introduced to them. Well, if we look at their little faces, they seem quite happy there, don't they? Because their mummy's there, they know where she is, they're happy, safe at home. And it describes their lovely, lovely home where they live. But then, it is one night they wake up and their owl mother is gone. Now that's where they maybe start to feel a little bit nervous, a little bit maybe confused, a bit unsure. Bill looks very, very unsure there, if we look at his face there. Remember, the illustrations can help us learn about how characters are feeling just as much as the words do. And they have a little thing, and they think, oh, we know that she's gone hunting, she's gone to get us food. Bill's already thinking, well, I, I really quite want my mummy now. I'm looking a little bit more confused there, if we look at Sarah's face. Then as time goes by, mummy's still not back. They start, they're not maybe just confused or unsure anymore, they're probably starting to feel a little bit scared, a little bit anxious, a bit worried or frightened even. And it gets darker and darker and mummy's still not back. And Sarah, even Sarah, who's the biggest, oldest penguin, says, maybe you should come and sit on my branch with me. Maybe we should sit all together and look after each other. So at this point, they seem like they are quite scared, quite frightened now. They're just thinking, where has mummy gone? We just don't know. Then they start to really get frightened. What if mummy gets lost? What if she gets eaten by a fox? I want my mummy, said Bill. They're really not happy now. <sighs> then she comes back, doesn't she? Are they feeling frightened and nervous and worried and scared anymore? I don't think so. Let's have a look. <gasps> look at that. Faces. Now they're so much happier. They don't look scared anymore. They look thrilled. Mummy, they cried and they flapped and they danced and they bounced up and down on their branch. That sounds like actions of very, very happy owls. And then they say how they knew she'd come back. And I love my mummy, said Bill. So right at the beginning, they're a little bit unsure, a little bit confused as to why mummy's gone. Then they start to get a lot more scared and frightened. And then when mummy comes back, whew, they're happy, they're excited, maybe a bit relieved that mummy came back. So you've got a list of questions to help you think about the story. Things like how do they feel at the beginning and why. Remember, if you say how they felt, then tell your grown-up why. What did they feel and why did they feel it? They felt nervous because their mummy had gone. They felt scared because their mummy still hadn't come back. They felt excited and relieved because mummy finally came back. There's that because word. Uh, as mummy has gone for longer and longer, how do they start to feel? How does Sarah feel when she asks her younger brothers to come and sit with her? How do Bill and Percy feel when Sarah comes to ask them to sit with her? How do they feel when mummy returns and why? So you're going to have a little look at a sheet that looks like this. It says, how did the owl babies feel at the beginning, middle and end? You've got little boxes there where you can draw the owls, uh, what they might look like as they were feeling the feelings that we discussed. And then underneath, you're going to write about how they felt at the beginning, middle and end. Maybe challenge yourself to use full sentences with capital letters, finger spaces, keywords and full stops. At the beginning, the owl babies felt, or you could say they felt confused because mummy had gone or the middle, they were scared because mummy still hadn't come back from hunting. At the end, 
they felt excited because mummy had flown back. Okay, so beginning, middle and end after you've had a little chat with your grown up about the owl baby's feelings in the story. Uh, there is a little challenge activity as well for you to do afterwards. You don't have to do it, but if you'd like to do it, then it's there for you to do. Good luck.